Welcome to this tutorial on building a robust authentication system in Flutter Flow using Firebase. If you're looking to create a login page, a sign up page, a forgot password page, and logout page, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of connecting to Firebase, setting up user authentication, and building out each of these pages step by step. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have all the tools you need to create a seamless and secure authentication experience for your Flutter Flow app. Let's get started. First, we have to create a new project. Let's name this project as a tutorial and create a blank template. Now, we need to connect to Firebase. I have made a video already how to do it, but now I am going to show you quickly. Let's go to Firebase console. Now, add new project, and I am going to name it Tutorial. We don't need Google Analytics for this tutorial. Let's go to Project Settings, and pick, Users and Permissions, and then add Flutter Flow. Now, we need to go to Cloud Console. We are going to pick Flutter Flow and give it two other roles. First role is Cloud Functions Admin. And second is Service Account User. Let's create Firestore database. For now, we are going to use test mode. Now, let's go back to project settings and copy project ID. When that's done, we can start to focus on the authentication. Let's first enable authentication, and after that, enable users collection. Now, we need to pick our login page from the templates. This page looks nice, let's add it. Now, we need to pick our home page. Let's choose this one. When that's done, click on Start Building. On the top you can see that we have a lot of errors, but don't worry. A lot of these errors comes because we have not picked authentication type in Firebase, but we have all these different type of login options. In here, we can see the user's collection that we just created. You can see all this different kind of information that we can store in the Firebase. You can also delete and add fields if you need to. But for now, we need to go back to Firebase, and let's click on Authentication. Your view might be a little bit different than mine, you should see a lot of different login options. I am going to pick the email for this project. 
and enable the top selection only. Now, let's go back to our app, and after that, let's start to get rid of these errors. A lot of these errors comes from buttons that have not linked to anywhere. Let's delete all the extra buttons and see how many errors we have left. We still have some errors, let's see what they are. Now, we need to start deleting all this nonsense. This is saying that password field must be maximum one line. Let's edit from all the password fields the maximum lines as one. Now, we are all done with the errors, let's run the app and see how it goes. First, we need to click the sign up, and create our first account. We are all done, we got logged in right after we created our account. Let's go back to our app. If we go to the users collection in Firebase, we can see our account in here. Now, let's start to build our, forgot my password, portal. I got little bit too excited, and deleted our earlier, Forgot my password button. Let's create a new one. Step 1 is that we create our forgot our password page. This looks nice, let's pick this one. We delete all the extra fields, and leave only the email field. Now, in here, you have to make sure that the keyboard type is set to email. Let's name this button as, send password.
Now we need to add a new action. We need to delete this earlier one. Click on Add Action, and after that, select Reset Password. Now, select the email field that we just created. I realized that we don't have Navigate Back button on this page in case users click this by accident. For this tutorial, let's make another button and add action to navigate back. Let's also rename this as go back. Now, we need to create one more page. This page is the page that says your email have been sent. And for this tutorial, I am going to use blank one. I cut the video for a bit, but only thing that is important in this site is that you create button and create navigation to login page, and you do not allow back navigation. Now, we need to go back to our login page, and link this button to, forgot my password page. Now, one more thing from our reset password page. We need to add navigation to, you password have been sent to your email page. Now, because Flutterflow remembers our login, we need to create button to go back to our login page in order to test this. We are finally ready to test this. Let's click forgot my password, and I am going to type down my email. It says that email have been sent, and it also navigated us to our next page. Everything seems to be working nicely. I am going to go to my email and see if I got any new messages. And here it is, our password reset link. Our reset password option should be working perfectly. Now we have one more step to do, and that step is log out button. Let's create a button and add all the logic into it. I am going to name this button as Logout. Now we need to go to Actions and select Action Logout. Let's try one last time if that button works.
it seems to be working perfectly. Thank you for watching this tutorial on authentication in Flutterflow. In this video, we covered the basics of setting up authentication in your Flutterflow app, including how to connect to Firebase, how to create a user authentication system, and how to add custom styling to your login and sign up screens. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you'll try out the process for yourself. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other tutorials on Flutterflow and subscribe to my channel for more helpful content. Thanks again for watching.